Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. TX Border Medic issues warning: breaks code to expose massive cover-up of sickening side to immigration. Dennis Michael Lynch had a reader named Sherry who shared a heart-wrenching letter on Facebook from a paramedic serving on the Texas-Mexico border. It puts the whole immigration debate and the separation of children from so-called parents in a different light. One that shares the bitter truth of what is going on with these innocent children and it's not what the media wants you to hear or see. Nevertheless, it's the truth and many of us have known it for many years. I have family in Arizona near the border. I have watched on and off my whole life what goes on down there and it is not anything like what the media is pushing. For instance, the father of the Honduran girl who became the face of the family separation crisis has revealed that his wife and daughter were never separated by border control agents and remained together. That child's picture was on the cover of Time magazine with President Trump to make him look like a villain who relishes separating children from their parents. Or how about the viral picture of the child in a cage crying? That was not at a nice facility. That was taken at a leftist protest where they put the child in a cage as propaganda and videoed the little one crying. This paramedic talks about how virtually all of these children are ill in one way or another and many have been abused horrifically. The care they receive once in the U.S. is a world away from the poverty, cruelty, and abuse of their former lives. Yes, children are separated from parents if they commit a crime. They should be. But remember, of the 12,000 children who have come across that border, 10,000 had no parents with them. Coyotes, i.e. slave traders and human traffickers, smuggle the children in for a fee. These children are subject to all kinds of abuse on their journey. They travel with drug cartels and the most evil of gangs out there. Now they appear to be used as political pawns. Here's some truth to open your eyes, warning, it is graphic, don't listen to the lying media on this. DML I received the following FB post from a friend. The original author is Lee Witt, an EMT in SOTX along the border. He writes. So I am going to break a self-rule about not posting in regards to work and politics. Well, I am actually going to stand by my rule because what I am really doing is coming to the defense of the U.S. Border Patrol and Customs Texas DPS, and myself since we were all part of the separation of children from their parents on the border. Yes. You read that correctly. I was a part of the human rights violations taking place on the border. Through the course of my career I have spent, off and on, 15 years working as a medic on the border. I've worked everywhere in Texas from Brewster and Presidio counties, Eagle Pass, Delaware, Rio, and Laredo. I know several Texas CMS paramedics that are deployed by the state and federal government to these camps running from El Paso to Houston currently. Rarely do I ever speak or write about what I see as a paramedic. Most of the time I never say anything to my wife Natalie or my family and I never comment, post, or talk about the graphic stuff I have seen in my career to people other than my colleagues. That is going to change with this post so if you think you might have a problem with graphic details please stop reading. I flew for Air Evac which has more border bases than any other air medical services in Texas. I was based out of South Texas and often covered shifts that were within viewing distance of the Mexican border. I love the Mexican people, their culture, and their customs. I married a woman from San Antonio who is of Mexican descent. My sons are half Hispanic. My heart is often broken seeing their plight as they take the ardent journey north for a better life. But. There is another side to some of the immigrants that most people don't witness. Most of the children that started coming across the border three or four years ago were alone or with smugglers that worked double duty with the cartels. The adults that were with them often lied and said they were the parents which was not true. Even the children that were with their parents or parent were oftentimes in dangerous situations. These children were separated back then and are still separated to this day. It is heartbreaking to see such events unfold and nobody, from the Border Patrol Texas law enforcement or Texas CMS professionals were happy to be tasked with such work. We did not abuse any children. Instead, we cared for them. We fed them and gave them water, clothes, medical care and comfort. All of these kids were sick or ill. It might be something as simple as dehydration but oftentimes it was more than that. Much more. Such as the 10-year-old girl that I flew who had been raped no less than 10 times on her journey. Her private parts torn by the continued trauma inflicted each night of her stay in the desert. Her screams and cries of mistrust still haunt me to this day when I think about it. Then there was a little boy who was only five years old covered in scabies, fleas, and abscesses with a broken jaw from being hit by a smuggler for crying. There were many kids that were so malnourished and dehydrated that they could not hold any solid food down and were delirious from sun exposure. Most of these kids had never slept under a roof their entire lives. 
They certainly never slept in a bed as they often slept on the ground with animals in their home countries. At the centers where these children were housed they cried aloud. Why wouldn't they? Most had been on a journey that no human should ever go through. Most have never been able to trust a single soul their entire lives, even their parents. They were afraid of the future. But what these professionals did at the centers was phenomenal work. They fed these kids. They immunized these kids. They love these kids. They have counselors on hand to help with these children. Some of these kids are put into the foster care system which, while not the greatest it could be, is almost certainly better than where they came from and the abuse they have suffered at the hand of cutthroats and drug cartels. The people that are actually working this crisis are good people. In fact, they are better than most people. They put their lives on hold to help children that they don't even know while spending months at a time without seeing their own families. These people probably save more lives than anyone else in the U.S. right now. So I encourage you all to look at all sides of this situation. There are no winners but please don't take up an opinion that comes from a media source that only has one agenda in mind, to discredit the current president. Personally I could care less what you think of President Trump but where I draw the line is when we start taking down innocent people and painting them as villains in an effort to destroy someone else. These good people working on this crisis have done so for the past 15 years without one word from anyone else until just recently. Ask yourself why? God bless you all. From a DML fan. Sherry. This drama on the border is nothing more than a cloward and piven move by the left. It is a political ruse to accomplish a leftist agenda. Remember that the next time Marxists cry for the poor children on the border and remember those who work tirelessly to take care of those children in the worst of circumstances. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.